Everything is just kept everywhere. I honestly need to change my workspace badly. I just use this bag literally to store everything and if I need to find something, it is a struggle to find things inside this. Like, do you see this? All the wires, the chargers, the batteries, everything is literally dumped inside this bag. And also you guys know, there's no other storage in this tiny little 500 square feet condo. So I need to work this space out. And as you can see, I have plain walls here. I've not put anything. It's literally just all blank and boring, but I really want to get some things and spark it up and literally make it look mine and put things that inspired me. So the stores are open and today I will be going to Yorkville, which is a shopper's paradise. There are tons of stores there. I'm all ready. I've already had my lunch, so I'm all good to go and uh okay where's my phone now yeah this is what happens whenever i'm looking for something i don't find things and where is my tripod i've got it here and let's not waste time and let's go to yorkville at the subway station as you can see my route is i'm catching a subway from saint andrews to museum and after that it's like a four to five minutes walk to you know which store home sense that might be the first store or might not be we'll see because i know if i go to home sense i'll carry a lot of stuff and it'll be difficult to walk and shoot then so we'll figure out but we'll at least reach yorkville So going to bike share, need to make full utilization of my annual membership. Let's unlock it. Like I'm the only one Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one Bible on the dash, stay with the holy one I know I put in work, they didn't notice nothing Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years Marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich Tying left, French sway, I mix the fist sick Quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win So I'm finally here at Yorkville So let me give you a background of this neighborhood so this is a very upscale, stunning neighborhood and also the most expensive here in Toronto. And also the houses here, they are Victorian looking and so beautiful. So here you'll actually find a lot of high-end stores, design boutiques, lot of chic cafes and also I mean the LV store is just right there. So just name it, LV, Gucci, Prada, Chanel, they're all here. So I'm not here for any of the high-end stores by the way, I just have to go to probably Home Sense, Indigo. Indigo is also one of my favorite stores. And maybe we'll go to Zara and Sephora just to check out what they have. But first, I think I should get a coffee because I'm actually very, very sleepy right now. I'm also I'm having a headache because of the all of these stores. There's a very different crowd here as well. I can see a lot of ladies carrying like LV Gucci bags and yeah, Dolce and Gabbana right here, Rolex. So let's find out a coffee shop and grab a coffee. Thank you. Ah, so I finally got my coffee. I mean, look at this cup. This is so cute. So now I'm at the village of Yorkville. So in this area, there are a lot of cafes, patios, a lot of places to chill. And also, do you see this giant rock behind me? This is actually one billion years old and it's quite a popular spot for people 
to hang out so people just grab something to eat or drink from the cafes around and just sit on it and this is a perfect place to like lounge outdoors and just look around enjoy what people are doing and these days i'm actually trying a lot of coffee shops as you can see i just went to a new coffee shop again at home i anyway have my nespresso so whenever i'm going out i don't want to have the ordinary tim hortons obviously it's cheap on your budget definitely because this coffee is actually five dollars yeah it is expensive but if you're just going out to just chill then it's okay you can definitely treat yourself once in a while okay so why are we sitting here let's actually sit on this giant rock and enjoy yeah I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now. It's such a good day to chill. It's windy but also sunny. Cheers guys. Oh uh, what you gonna do now? Uh we And also this is like a street where people come in fancy cars and take rounds like in India we used to call it Gedi routes, right? So this is one of the giddy routes here in Toronto as well. just found this really nice cookbook it's actually just for salads and it's on 40% off i think i should take this one so i did not find a lot of things at indigo i did find something but it was very expensive so now i'm at home sense and i just got this set of two drawer organizer which is pretty good but I don't have drawers. Oh shit. This seems nice. Just for five dollars. I'm confused between these two. I definitely want to go in for like a gold theme. But not sure if I'll find a lot of gold items. But this is good as well. This is actually cheaper. It's just for five and this is for sixteen dollars. So difficult to find things because of clearance. I think everyone has taken all the good stuff. I'm literally left with nothing. I don't know. We might have to come back again. We will see. You always get really nice calendars and things to plan all these boards. Like look at this. So cute. I think this size is fine for the no area because otherwise it's going to be huge. Okay, I found something that I can put in my bedroom. This is so cute. So you saw that crazy line at Zara. I was supposed to go there, but it'll easily take me two hours to get inside the store. So. I'm not going to wait. I don't have time for that. They have sale. Yeah, sale at Zara. People are going to get crazy. That's so obvious. But I'm thinking maybe I'll just check out a Rizia store or H&M because there's no line up there. I really love this store, but it's really expensive. Just taking these two activewear and also a cap for Siraj. I hope he likes it. Okay, so I'm done with the shopping. I did not get a lot of stuff, but did get something. But actually, I just passed by this grocery store called Whole Foods. And this is the high-end version of all the grocery stores you have ever seen in my vlogs. So yeah, you are in the bougiest neighborhood. So you will get high-end grocery stores here as well. So I've never been here and I think I should check it out. Oh my god, 
this grocery store is amazing it's so huge and they have so much interesting stuff well you guys know how much i love visiting grocery stores so i'm just getting way too excited <laughs> this is crazy i'm literally controlling myself because i want to show saranch as well and then i'll make a separate vlog and we'll buy some things from here and try it just like how i did for farm boy and let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see the vlog for that so just came across this uh, brownie stand and saranch loves brownies so i'm thinking to get this for saranch he's going to love it this is the walnut chocolate brownie seeing the weather i just feel i should head back home you see this like yeah it's crazy windy and if it rains it's going to be really really bad Super tired. Finally home. Ha. Huh. Okay, so I'm finally, finally back. So to be very honest, I did not get a lot of stuff for my workspace. I really had a lot of expectations, but the thing is, stores have opened up quite recently, just a week ago. So obviously, people have. gone crazy like me but still at least i got something <laughs> that's good and actually i need a lot of stuff like shelves and some storage boxes and for that i think ikea is the best i will definitely take you to ikea as well because that's going to be amazing i love visiting ikea it's so crazy to just see how they've displayed everything but okay let me just show you what i got so let's actually start with indigo first and let's start with something which is not work related so i got this salad recipe book and i know you must be wondering well pooja you can just get all the recipes online just watch youtube and all of that but guys it's just a different feeling to own a recipe book and by the way this is my first recipe book ever and the reason i got this recipe book is Whenever I have to make salads for dinner like something when we are having like a healthy dinner night we run out of options a lot and Saranch always tells me Pooja just look out for a new recipe try a new salad or whatever and then obviously I go online I go on YouTube check out some recipes and make it but this is something very handy and this is only just for salads I'm really really excited to try all these salad bowls and everything and if there is something very interesting i'll definitely share that with you as well you guys know how much i love getting different types of cutlery so i actually got plates i know you must be thinking this girl is crazy i literally get different types of plates i don't get a set because if i get a set it will be like a 12 piece 16 piece and then all the plates and bowls will be the same i know that's what you should be doing but i honestly love eating in different plates and bowls so i got this really bright orange low bowl like looking at this plate i honestly feel like cooking something and i'll definitely make a salad from this book and i eat from this plate wow and also one more thing that i got from indigo is this okay now this is for my workspace these are wooden wall letter display so you can actually make different words out of this and with this i'm going to place peekapoo like hashtag #peekapoo maybe uh in my workspace there i'm sure it's going to look very very cool and when i decorate all of that i'll definitely vlog all that for you so that you can also see the before and after and from home sense i got this storage basket so this says stuff just a basic basket where i can keep my camera bag and all of that and also one other container and this will be very useful to put my batteries um or even sd card holder and all of that and also i got these wooden boards it says mr and mrs and also one day at a time so this is actually not for my workspace but for our bedroom i don't know if you've seen but we have installed like a floating shelf from ikea in our bedroom and for that i was actually looking for some cute pieces that i can put on it and then i found this and i was like okay this is just perfect this is for 8 dollars and this is for 15 dollars and a pen holder 
and also I got this dry erase board as well I can actually manage my schedule like weekly on this and there's also this cork bulletin strip where I can actually pin some notes or photos and this was actually for ten dollars not bad and hey I actually forgot to show you one more thing I got this vintage clock as well isn't this so cool actually I realized there is no clock in the entire condo yeah so this was badly needed and I'll actually place it somewhere here on the shelves when I have them and also I, as you guys saw I went to H&M and I actually wanted some activewear so I got these and they were actually super super cheap I've actually never wore H&M's activewear but it seemed really nice and this one was for $20 and the other one this is for $24 so I hope it fits me Saranj, you liked your cap? I loved it it's pretty basic but it's nice it will go with all my outfits yay and also he was so excited to see the brownie that I got from Whole Foods as well and sorry I did not record his reaction we actually just finished it in one go so there's no brownie left but it was damn tasty and I can't wait to make a separate whole foods vlog it's going to be super fun I actually thought I got a lot of stuff but anyway this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed shopping with me and I'll also take you to IKEA as well and you will see the before and after of that small little workspace that I have but I'm super excited to change it up so stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time bye and oh, oh by the way please don't forget to like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye